Meg shocked as Harry sends his divorce warning to her through speech during Invictus. Harry officially confirmed Sussex's divorce at rare speech during Invictus Games. Meghan Markle and her husband, Prince Harry, attended the 2023 Invictus Games after sparking divorce rumors and speaking a few words to the crowd. However, fans of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are disappointed with them as there seems to be less chemistry between them. At the events, the couple, known for not being shy about showing off their love during public outings, refrained from showing off any PDA. Meghan was also criticized for impersonating a political wife, supporting and loving Prince Harry while she gave a rare speech during the event, analyzing the couple's appearance. Expert Judy James commented in the mirror that Meghan and Harry's body language seemed a bit uneven. It was clearly a spontaneous appearance and not a more carefully prepared rehearsal at the end of their event. Regardless, Meghan is showing stronger signals of affection and attachment. She said after Meghan finished her speech, she gave the mic to Harry. However, he only stared and shared a few words with the crowd. When Harry took the mic, Meghan moved closer to pose like an adorable political wife, looking at him lovingly and supportively and nodding as he spoke. Sadly, Judy explained that there was no sign of romance at the end of their speech, and fans felt longing for Harry and Meghan PDA, and they may have been disappointed. When Harry just gave the audience a thumbs up, fake pretended before stepping back without hugging his wife even. After months of speculation and rumors about their marriage, a new report has emerged that sheds light on why Meghan needed to break up, not only with the current story, but also with her husband. First, a comment from a user who loves Akito raised an interesting question. If these children were fake, would they be liable for fraud in the U.S. or U.K.? It's a valid concern. The legality of such a situation would indeed be complex and depend on many different factors. Next, Norfus points out that they will never divorce. All stunts are PR. She needed a title, he needed his mother. This reflects many people's skepticism about the authenticity of their relationship in the first place. The idea that their marriage was largely a publicity stunt continued to spread. Somebody else asked the question, who could do that to an innocent child? She emphasized the potential harm to any children involved if their existence was real but hidden from the public. That's really a troubling thought. Cynthia Wilson speculates that if they are real children, they may not belong to Meghan or Harry, suggesting that they may have been borrowed babies from someone else. That would really increase the complexity of the mystery surrounding the children. We got to see who they both really are, and it wasn't a pretty picture. Their dwindling popularity and failures in their recent projects really exposed their true standing, them in the public eye. Now back to the main topic at hand. In 2019, the Sunday Times called Meghan a graduate wife as it was speculated that her marriage to Harry would, as of today, only last three years, and that prediction seems to be gradually gaining credibility. Interestingly, Meghan recently attended a Beyoncé concert that Harry had no intention of mingling with celebrities like Jeff Bezos and Ted Sarandos of Netflix. It seems that Meghan is embracing fame, while Harry's increasingly disillusioned with it. Furthermore, there are rumors that Meghan is preparing for an important digital venture. This shows her desire to escape the victim narrative and assert herself independently in public perception. Meghan and Harry's popularity has dropped significantly, and many people now consider them a toxic couple. Their Netflix projects, including The Heart of Invictus, failed to make a significant impact in the entertainment industry at all.